So now the question is how can we do that? How can we convert the C++ function type into C function type? Okay, so let's uh, modify our DLL project. Let's uh, introduce uh, one another function in the CPP file itself. I am going to add one function and that will be in a C function type and let's see if I will be able to load that function from outside or not. So to do that, to define it in C format, uh, we use something called extern C. Now this function I will be exporting. Uh, let's say my function name is wired. Uh, C type function. Okay, now I will be exporting this function. or we can use that macro itself this API this means the same so let's add it before the function declaration or this definition okay let's build this project and see what happens just open the dependency worker press F5 it will be refreshed at load now this is a new function that we have introduced and you can see here the type is C C means it is a C type of function ok I'll just magnify it and show you so this C type function it is in C format as we have declared it is an extern C other functions the normal functions are in C++ type so these first four functions we were not able to uh, get the proc address or we were not able to get the entry point but let's see we will be able to get uh, the entry point for this last C type function or not the declaration is same as the display so this function pointer will work let's check okay so there is some mismatch let's check it out okay so the simple very simple spelling mistake okay now let's run it okay so we got the proc address we got the entry point for this function so you can see the last four digit is one one double zero and uh, here what it says we have one one double zero so this is the entry point that we got and now using this entry point we can call the function so let's call the function how do we do that there is no return type there is no parameter if we just call this it will call the function So this is the C type function that is called. So the question is how we can make use of uh, these three functions that uh, is in C++ type. How can we convert it and how can we uh, call it from outside using uh, get proc address. So let's modify these functions. So in order to do that uh, we have uh, two techniques to do the first one whether we can use extern C and uh, declare these functions not like this and uh, we can declare the functions like this 
rather than declaring using a scope resolution and uh, in C++ format we can make use of this type the other method is uh, to create a .def file that is the module definition file module definition file it is just a text file that uh, it describes the various attributes of a DLL so I will show you how we can create a .def file uh, let's say these functions we want to export these three functions so before that I will show you what is a dot exp file that we have got while building the project so when we build the project we got uh, something called dot exp file so let's check what this dot exp file contains so I'm just temporarily copying it here so that we can explore it okay so this exp file contains the entry point you cannot be able to judge what exactly it means but when you explore it easily you, you will be coming to know that uh, we have the functions name uh, just search for the function name search for display function so we have the display function here but uh, we have something different with this display function some kind of things so what these things are exactly so these things are the decorated names this display CSR my DLL this is the decorated name as you can see uh, you can see in the dependency worker easily what is a decorated name so this function name in the function name these are the decorated names that we can use to export we can uh, we make use of these decorated names in defining the dot def file I will show you how we can uh, define that df file so let's say it says the uh, undecorated uh, the decorated name for display is something q a e x x z and uh, here also in the .exp file we will be having the same q a e e x x z so it is very difficult to uh, judge if a lot f a lot of functions are there it is uh, very difficult to explore this uh, .exp file and one by one retrieve all those decorated names so to get the decorated names uh, we have uh, one option we have uh, the dependency worker using the dependency worker you can just copy the function name it will be copied in the uh, decorated name format and then you can define the .df file so let's see how we can define the .df file and we can uh, export these functions and in the .c format currently these are in .c and C++ function types okay so to create a dot df file go to add new item here module definition file my exports and just add it now by default it comes set as a library we have to export the symbol so we will use exports just okay and now it uh, requires the decorated names to be there so for display we will start one by one let's say we have these three functions these three functions need to be called from outside so let's start with my dll so let's start with the functions one by one now for csr my dll so the decorated name for this function let's get it from the dependency worker 
see the function name so for this case or my dll the decorated name is this so let's just paste it here similarly you can do for other functions display for display we have this copy this paste it here let's do the same for uh, the third function okay now we need to make sure that uh, this df file is being used so go to the properties linker input uh, it is getting used if it is not there you need to write the name of the df file and uh, or the location if it is in some different path so we are making use of this df file currently now let's build the solution and uh, just refresh this now you got some extra list these lists are nothing but what we were expecting so you can see these functions are currently available in the C format type okay so to make it clear and magnify it you can see it easily now as you can see let's say this return some value function this is currently in the C function type this format is C it has some 10d0 entry point when it was in C++ entry point was the same so entry point will be the same but now it will be available to the outside now we can call the get uh, proc address after calling load library now let's see whether uh, I am able to get the proc address of these functions or not from my application now let's check for uh, the display function now and now it works now I got the entry point 1080 so you can clearly see for display function it is 1080 the last four digits the last four numbers or the value whatever you can say and uh, when I want to call this display function just will execute this line and it will say the display is invoked according to the stale whatever we have defined here so these are the two techniques how we can uh, export and how we can use the exported functions even the Microsoft website says the same it says if you are exporting a function in a C++ file you have to either place the decorated names in the .def file or define your exported functions with a standard C linkage by using extern C so both of these topics we have covered uh, now there is something left this is called dump bin tool okay so the dump bin tool we basically uh, use this dump bin tool to get the decorated names what we have got using this uh, dependency worker these kind of names these names we can uh, get using the dump bin tool and uh, we can define my .df file like this so let's see that also how we can use the dump bin let's have one small introduction a module definition file is a text file containing one or more module statements that describes various attributes of a DLL. If you are not using the DLL export keyword to export the DLL function, the DLL requires a .df file. Also, it says if you are exporting the function in a C++ file, you have to place it in the .df file or you have to use extern C. Okay, so let's see how this dump bin works and where this dump bin.exe is located this dump bin dot exe is located in your uh, wherever your visual studio is installed go to 
program files Visual Studio 10 VC bin and uh, here you can see the dumbbin.exe just uh, double click and it did not load uh, with most of you this can be a problem it will say that uh, mspdb100.dll is missing so where you will get this mspdb dll I'll show you um, common ID so in this common 7 ID you will get this mspdb 100.dll just copy this and uh, paste it inside the bin where uh, you have your dumb bin.exe you must have the admin rights now just try to run this and you are able to run this so now how you will get the decorated names for all the exported functions in a DLL so you can use a command prompt just open the command prompt just remove all this I don't want to see this okay so just say echo off and I'll just say clear screen now I need to go to the path of the dumb bin just copy this okay now I want to see the decorated names for all the exported functions now the path of the DLL it requires so my DLL is somewhere here look for the name of the DLL 